Big Finish Productions is a company that has been releasing audio dramas and audio books for almost 25 years. Due to that, they have quite a large back catalogue with many ranges and spin-offs with so many different characters. In this series, I'll discuss the various ways that you can experience Big Finish based off your preferred era of the show. For me, I was interested in listening to the Torchwood audio adventures, but made the mistake of listening to random audios that I had picked up in sales at the time. This was, of course, a major mistake, as I ended up missing many references to previous stories that at that time I simply didn't understand. So to prevent you from making the same mistakes that I did, here is a series to help you get into Big Finish audio adventures. In this first episode, I'll be discussing the classic series and the various jumping on points for each Doctor. However, before I get into specific stories, I'll go into detail on the different ranges and collections that you can explore with each Doctor. Firstly, there are the monthly adventures, then there are the insert number here Doctor adventures, the novel adaptations, short trips, companion chronicles, special releases... <gasps> yeah, it goes on a lot. Now I know this can sound daunting for somebody who isn't experienced with Big Finish, but I'll simplify this for you now. The monthly adventures consist of stories with the 5th to 8th Doctors, with stories varying from being standalone or part of a series. Each release is usually four episodes of roughly 30 minutes, totalling the stories at about two hours in length. The insert Doctor Name Here adventures are a lot simpler, as you just follow them all in order from Volume 1, in release order, of the Doctor you want to follow the adventures of. If you are more of a fan of the audiobook narration style, then you might be more into the Companion Chronicles, standalone tales which are told usually in the past tense from the perspective of the Companion, usually featuring one or two of the original cast members. If you're on a smaller budget, then maybe the Short Trips range is for you. These are standalone tales that usually sell for about £2.99, with actors voicing the Doctors that aren't the original actors, but they are so good. For example, the amazing Jacob Dudman, voicing the 10th and 11th Doctors. I feel it important to mention that committing to Big Finish can have quite a high cost factor, so what I'll be doing is a budget-friendly route into Big Finish, with cheaper, yet still good quality stories which are ideal for beginners, and a route that covers more of my favourite stories, which may be slightly more expensive, as some are box sets which contain multiple stories, and some have storylines which go on over many box sets at a high price. Of course, with this route, I won't be taking budgeting into account, only my personal enjoyment of the stories, so please bear this in mind. To start off the budget friendly list, let's talk about the short trips range. These stories are a perfect taster to see if the audio format is for you. For starters, if you're a fan of either the 2nd, 3rd or 7th Doctors, then great news! You can pick up 3 classic Who short trips for free, that's right, free, on the Big Finish website, each featuring one of these Doctors. The link is of course in the description. If you enjoy those stories, then you can pick up most short trip audios for £2.99 via digital download, or if you want to get more stories in one purchase, you can pick up volume sets and bundles which contain 8 to 12-ish audios. Sometimes it's like more or less, but you know, 8 to 12, at prices from £8 to £30, making each audio reduced in price if you are book buying. However, if you don't want to commit to lots of stories, then you don't have to, as all short trips, that's right, all of them, are standalone. If you're interested in picking up a series of interconnected adventures with classic Doctors at a low price, then I recommend the monthly adventures range. This ran from 1999 to 2021, and, as I said before, this followed the adventures of the 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th Doctors. Whilst there are plenty of standalone stories in this range, which I'll give some examples of, it often has ongoing storylines which could continue in crossovers with other Doctors. If you don't listen to prior stories like I hadn't, you could be lost, so it is important to bear that in mind. So, standalone storage in this range. For the 5th Doctor, I recommend spare parts. If you want to read the blurb, feel free to pause the video and read it now. Okay, we good? Okay, right. We then pause what I recommend, and take some advice from my good old friend Tom, who has recommended the story Omega. However, I cannot guarantee the quality of the story, as Tom has horrendous taste. Nah, I'm just kidding. But I haven't listened to this myself. But if you are a fan of the 5th Doctor's era, Tom swears you will enjoy Omega. Yet again. Pause the video and read this blurb. For the sixth Doctor, I recommend Jubilee, the story which inspired the 2005 TV episode Dalek. Blurb is on screen. We good? Okay. For the seventh Doctor, I recommend Colditz. Yet again, blurb, here you go. For the eighth Doctor, it gets a little bit more complicated, as there are no true standalone stories. So I just recommend Storm Warning, the first story in his ongoing storyline. Blurb time, here you go. 
If you are a completionist and you like to understand all nods and references to previous stories, then I recommend listening through this range completely from number one all the way through to its last release, regardless of which Doctor is involved with the story, as, like I said, there were occasional crossovers and it was useful to have some prior knowledge. At this time, you can pick up the first 100 audios in this range for £2.99 each, and each title mostly averages at two hours in length. Alternatively, you can listen to the first 50 audios on Spotify and Amazon Music for free right now, alongside various other ranges. If you want to listen to the fourth Doctor audio starring Tom Baker, then the first six episodes of his range are available here. Or if you'd like to experience some stories for the first three Doctors, then there are stories from the Companion Chronicles range available, though I'm not sure of their quality as I have not listened to these myself. There is a link in the description to the Spotify library where you can check out the full catalogue of audios available. If there is ever an audio that you'd like to check out, but you don't know if it is standalone or not, then I recommend checking out the website Timescales, which has reviews of a story, plus its prerequisites if there are any. Now for the general recommendations for each Doctor. As previously stated, these recommendations may be more expensive, as when I chose them I based it purely off my personal enjoyment of the story, or set, without looking at how much they cost. For the first five Doctors, I recommend the same system, which is going on to the Rangers section, selecting the first Doctor Adventures, second Doctor, third, fourth, or fifth Doctor Adventures, and then going through them in release order. For the first Doctor, that I've been going through volume one to five of the Adventures, then the Outlaws and the Demon's Song. Please note that these audio adventures are of course not voiced by William Hartnell due to his passing, but features the full cast that was used in the 2013 drama An Adventure in Space and Time. Similarly, the second Doctor adventures feature the second Doctor voiced by Michael Troughton, which is Patrick Troughton's son. There are currently two volumes of this released, which are Beyond the War Games and then James Robert McCrimmon. I haven't listened to these myself, however I know that they follow on from the end of the second Doctor's era on screen, so make sure that you have seen or experienced all of Troughton's run in some way. For the third Doctor Adventures, go from volumes 1 to 8, then the Annihilators, Kaleidoscope, and then the return of Joe Jones. Like the first two Doctors, the third Doctor is voiced by a different actor, this time being Tim Treller. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, if not, I apologise. The fourth Doctor Adventures is where it gets a little more complicated, as unlike the first three Doctors, each story is sold as a separate release, instead of volumes at first. But this can be simplified by going onto the fourth Doctor Adventures page, link in the description, and listing them from release date, oldest to newest. If you want to bulk buy these stories, you can simply select an episode and then click on the Save Money with a Bundle option, which will put a whole volume or series together. For the fifth Doctor, you can either go through his adventures range, which yet again, you just set from oldest to newest, link in the description, or you can look through his monthly adventures range, and select any that catch your eye. Like I've also said before, you can check if these are standalone through the Timescales website. Personally, I recommend Spare Parts, and Tom recommends Omega. Uh, I know I've already said that, but I figured I'd chuck it in here too, if people skipped ahead. For the Sixth Doctor, yet again, there are volumes which you can order from oldest to newest. However, I'm going to recommend specifics. The first being Trial of the Valiard, and my other being The Last Adventure, which gives the Sixth Doctor a fitting send-off and a proper regeneration sequence which he sadly wasn't given on the screen. The story Jubilee, which is from the monthly adventures, is also amazing, and I know I've mentioned that in my previous discussion, however, I have to say it again. So good! For the Seventh Doctor, I don't have any recommendations as I haven't listened to many of his audios, however, I will say you can, of course, order his adventures from oldest to newest, and of course, I recommend Cold It's from the Monthly Adventures, starring David Tennant as a secondary character. And there's also Night Thoughts, which is a very good atmospheric story, also from the Monthly Adventures. Okay, so the Eighth Doctor technically has many jumping on points, however I recommend starting from the beginning with Storm Warning, and going through his adventures in the monthly adventures range, before beginning his Eighth Doctor adventures range with Blood of the Daleks, then after you've gotten to the story titled To the Death, you then listen to the Dark Eyes range, and so on. If you want a full timeline, the multiple people online have assembled this, I'll try and link one in the description. Personally, I think the Eighth Doctor has one of the strongest ranges, and highly recommend you check his stories out. If you're interested in multi-Doctor stories, and of course, why wouldn't you be, I recommend The Light at the End, Big Finish's 50th anniversary celebration of the show. At the time of recording, the first two episodes of the 60th anniversary celebration, Once and Future, have released. And what I've heard, these are a good introduction too. Just a heads up though, please, please, please don't listen to Segreas from the monthly adventures because it looks good. I made this mistake and my brain broke. It's a great story if you've listened to all of eight stories before this in the range, but if you haven't, you will be lost, I promise you. And that's it! Well, for the classic series. I plan to do a video talking about the modern series, and maybe even another talking about spin-offs. Who knows? 
Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you next time.